Here we are again in our travel page. And it's a catastrophe because we've been in it for a long time. We've been in it for, let's see, today is Wednesday. We get in it Monday at 4 p.m. And um, we drove through everywhere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where we drove. We encountered slush. We encountered slush on the road. Snow. They didn't plow roads. We encountered rain. Wind shear. We encountered the drive, which is usually a 14-hour drive. Um, took us uh, 20 hours of driving. I had to stop for six hours because I get sideswiped in this rental car. Watch this. This is what happened. Zero damage. Nothing. But this mirror, the truck came so close that it flipped the mirror forward like that. It, that's how close the truck came. It tagged the mirror and flipped it forward. That's crazy. Sideswiped by a truck while we were driving in slushy conditions at night. So it was shortly after that that we pulled over and we slept for a while. So that's why our travel cage is in disarray. We did have a night's sleep at a motel. And now we are here and we are at fabulous Dr. Dan's and we're going to go in and we're going to have hopefully the last surgery we need. This is surgery number four. So, having a snack, it's a cheese doodle in our crazy messy travel cage and um, that's it. Here we are in North Carolina once again ready for our surgery that's going to solve everything. Take out the odontoma, stitch up the little dry socket, the communication between his nasal passage and the roof of his mouth. And I'm not going to move that cage until he finishes that cheese doodle because that looks like a happy moment. So that's what happens there. Oh, look at the drama. Look at the drama. Look at what we had to do. He's got like the biggest hole in his head. But it's great because now we can breathe. This is why we took such a big adventure to solve it once and for all. Once and for all. Look at he's still groggy from the anesthesia. Poor little pumpkin head. But he's waking up. And this is what came out of his head. That's the odontoma. Look at the size of that. That's crazy. That's the nastiest thing I ever saw in my life. No wonder he couldn't breathe right. No wonder he was full of mucus. It was horrifying. It's a nightmare. But it's done. Okay, Yay. here's the latest. We had the surgery on Tuesday morning, and it's Friday. And he's been, he stayed at the doctor's Tuesday. He was back twice on Wednesday, morning and afternoon. He was back again Thursday, morning and afternoon. He was in Friday morning. Everything is good. He's getting pain medication. Look at that in the top there. That's where, is that incredible? Poor little thing. I was afraid because of that noise. I thought I had aspirated him, you know, gotten fluids down into his lungs. But I did not, thank God. So, he's resting. He had a huge drink. He was really thirsty right after surgery. But then he didn't have a drink all day on Thursday. What did I say? The surgery was Wednesday. That's what it was. I got mixed up. It's a blur. All right, the surgery was Wednesday. He didn't have a drink all day Thursday. So today is Friday, and he got some subcutaneous fluids in there. 
so he wouldn't have issues compounded. And the doctor did listen to his lungs, and I did not aspirate him. I did not get stuff into his lungs. He's on a pain medication, and he is on an antibiotic, and he has some kind of honey. It's a special kind of honey. And I put a little tiny bit right down through the top of his sinus. And that's, you know, to prevent bacteria and to help it to heal. And of course it doesn't taste bad if any of it goes any weird direction. But oh, he's so tired and he's sleeping a lot. And maybe tomorrow that is going to get closed up. His nose looks good on his examination this morning. Get a little bit of a bloody nose. <sighs> Poor little thing. So, we're doing good. And we're going to go to get the stent taken out today. Let's see. Oh, cold again. <sighs> This thing was not going to come out by accident. Mm -mm. So we've got the stent out, we closed it up a little bit, he's got the opening where he can still breathe out a little bit, but it's going to close up on its own, with any luck he won't be like Spooky the horse from my childhood who breathed out of his head when he got excited, and uh, there was a little flap in there that made him a little bit wheezy, and that's gone too. So. He pulled through the surgery due to the expertise of Dr. Dan. And I'm going to run out to the car and get some honey. I'm going to put some honey in there. Oh, God bless you, Dr. Dan. Mm. You're a genius. Poor little squirrel. Zeke. Just want to show everybody. Oh, bless you. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. And a little runny nose. Bless you, bless you. Did you just wake up? You gotta clear your little nosy. Yeah. And you're feeling better. And you're feeling more like a regular squirrel. Yeah. And we're so happy to be home. And you gotta stay clean. Yeah, you do. 
Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, because you're a good little squirrel. Yes, you do, because you're a good little squirrel. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's a good little squirrel. You good little squirrel. And a little nutty. Eating a little nutty. Whoops. Whoops. Here, have another one. That's a better size. A good squirrel. So good to be back home. So good to be back home. Yay. Yay. Yay, Ziki. How's your head? Getting better. Getting better.